Good morning, Shannon. It's uh, good to spend one last part of a day in space. We're looking forward to getting home. Thanks for the wake-up song. There were a lot of submissions into that contest. That was the winner. It was really great. And could you please uh, say some words about who the contest winner was and where they were from, please? Uh, the song was Sunrise Number One, and the person that wrote it was George Otero, and they're from Spain. Well, thank you. Uh, congratulations to George Otero from the crew of STS-134. We appreciate that. And we also appreciated it, and we're also looking forward to getting home today. Endeavor, we do have a good config for the DR firm. Roger, good config for the burn. Discraft communicator Butch Wilmar uh, readying up the word from the propulsion systems officer that uh, we are in a good configuration for the Deerba burn. Again, this will be a, a Deerba burn lasting 2 minutes and 38 seconds, providing a total change in velocity, slowing the shuttle down by 295.3 feet per second or just under 201 miles an hour. Standing by for the Deerba Burn in 4, 3, 2, 1. Deerba Burn start. Flight controls are going to move on the ring system. We need to fire. Good control. Good burn in Deerba Burn. Six and a half million miles, Endeavour landing in darkness, but illuminated by the ingenuity, dedication of every astronaut, scientist, engineer, flight controller, mechanic, and dreamer that helped it fly. The fleet's youngest ship completing its 122 millionth mile after its crew delivered an instrument to the International Space Station that will sift through the cosmic darkness for years to come. Houston, Endeavour will stop. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavour. Yeah, thank you, Houston. You know, the Space Shuttle is an amazing vehicle. The fly through the atmosphere, hit it at Mach 25. Uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on the runway. It is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for to get this mission going and every person that's worked on 
endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. And so the Space Shuttle Endeavor touching down at Kennedy Space Center uh, on time at uh, 1.45 a.m. Central Time, 2.35 a.m. Eastern. Commander Mark Kelly guiding us to a uh, very gentle touchdown on the 1.5 at Kennedy Space Center Shuttle Landing Facility. Fifteen, twenty years. It's got the spare parts it needs uh, to to continue doing the science that is uh, so relevant today. Uh, AMS is already collecting data. We're pretty excited about that and looking forward to hearing some more about it. Uh, I really want to thank my crew members who did such a spectacular job on this flight. Uh, could not have done this without them. Uh, they all, every single one of them, just performed and our flawlessly. Commander, we want to thank him too. So. So thanks for coming out. It's great to be back, and uh, have a good have a good morning. <laughs> <laughs> 